Welcome to Inner Jenny's Pantry, home of the three Ds, different delicious delicacies. So happy to have you here. In today's recipe, we're having green sauce. It's like spicy green sauce. And all you need is just things, of course, you have in your pantry, your fridge, leftovers, whatever. And what, whatever. <laughs> So there I show you the serrano peppers, but I will really start with pureed green peppers, serrano peppers, onions. I had spiced up um, chicken breast and spiced up shrimp, but you can use anything. So you start with a wonderful pot. No matter the pot you have, it's okay. Put it on fire, make it hot, put some oil in there. I used this oil here is just to fry the chicken and the shrimp. And you can use boiled eggs, you can use beef, you can use pork, whatever. Whatever you have, it's okay. You can even do it veggie style, just don't put anything in there. We can put mushroom, right? So this chicken I spiced up and let it sit for like 30 minutes while I prepped everything else. So of course, if you have a white pot, it's better so you can fry boots. Um, ingredients at the same time, but I don't cook them all the way, right? I make it half and half, that way it cooks with the sauce when it's boiled down. So here, of course, I put in some onions and some um, chopped yellow and orange pepper. You don't have to do that, I did just to make it smell really good. In here, I have some curry, some rosemary, some thyme, and of course, my amazing bouillon powder. So let it sweat a little bit right and you just put the green sauce in again this is just green pepper serrano you can use jalapeno whatever pepper you like as long as it's green you can do yellow sauce too it's okay but then by the time you boil it down it's no longer as green as it is but i still call it green sauce because that's intention right so i have this boiled down let it cook for about four minutes not up to four minutes actually and there you have it it's changed color everything is cooked now you add your chicken and you add the shrimp and you would leave it for like mm, about a minute not even close to a minute you know what yeah a minute right stir it so that all the spices are um, incorporated with the meat and the shrimp and remember, they're both half cooked, so it cooks with the sauce. And right here, that's it. It doesn't take that long. I mean, the time you spend, the time for this recipe is the prep time, which is just to make sure you cut the pepper so it can puree. And that's how it looks. That's how it looks. Beautiful, colorful. It's not really green. It's like brownish green or green, green brown, whatever. But it really, really looks awesome. I just chopped some orange and yellow pepper just to garnish, okay? And here you have it. I will put the recipe ingredients down below. And I hope you get to try it and tell me what you think. Sometimes it's just good to change stuff, right? Just don't make the stew that you make anymore with tomatoes. Just do something else, right? You can eat this with parathas, which the video is right up there. You can eat this with boiled potatoes, with rice, of course. You can use naan bread if you choose to. This sauce goes with anything. Your family is going to give you a big hug for this. It's different from the regular Nigerian stew and other sauces that we make or egg sauce. This is rich. If you want to even go a little bit further, you can add beef and make it a combo sauce. This was a hit. It didn't stay for the next day. I thank you for supporting me always. If you like these kind of videos, definitely subscribe, like, and share. I appreciate you. God bless you. Be safe. Thank you for watching.